Picture this, a tranquil, sun-kissed Maybury morning, a town where life seemed to slow down, and the warm embrace of nostalgia greeted you through the flickering black and white screen. It was your first rendezvous with The Andy Griffith Show, a timeless 1960s gem that etched its charm into your heart forever. The twang of a folksy guitar, the comforting drawl of Sheriff Andy Taylor, and the mischievous grin of Opie all woven into the fabric of your childhood memories. As you settled in those cozy armchairs, your world transformed into a place where life's complexities were distilled into heartwarming tales, and life lessons were served with a spoonful of humor. You chuckled at Barney Fife's overzealous policing, marveled at Aunt Bee's culinary mishaps, and joined the entire town in resisting change, even when the world around them evolved. But as you sat there, you were transported back to that memorable episode, the one where Opie learned about honesty through a lost fish and pole. Or perhaps it was Andy's sage advice on friendship that struck a chord deep within your soul. Those moments weren't just scripted lines, they were snippets of wisdom that became a part of your life's tapestry. Now, let's dive into some delightful, lesser-known facts about this beloved show, like the unexpected casting choices and behind-the-scenes camaraderie that made Maybury more real than you ever imagined. So, fasten your seatbelts, dear reader, and prepare to journey back to a simpler time, because The Andy Griffith Show is more than just a TV series. It's a cherished memory woven into the very fabric of our lives. The Andy Griffith Show, a beloved American television series that ran from 1960 to 1968, was a heartwarming portrayal of small town life in the fictional town of Mayberry, North Carolina. Created by Sheldon Leonard and Danny Thomas, the show was a spin-off of The Danny Thomas Show and centered around the affable Sheriff Andy Taylor, played by Andy Griffith himself. The series showcased the idyllic charm of Mayberry, where the gentle humor and moral lessons of everyday life were at the forefront. Iconic characters such as the bumbling but endearing Deputy Barney Fife, portrayed by Don Knotts, and Opie Taylor, played by a young Ron Howard, added depth and charisma to the show's ensemble. The show's unique style lay in its ability to tackle serious themes with humor and authenticity, addressing issues like friendship, family, and community values. The Andy Griffith Show had a profound impact on popular culture, becoming a timeless classic that continues to be cherished by audiences of all generations. Its portrayal of a simpler, more wholesome era has left an enduring mark on American television, serving as a beacon of nostalgia and a reminder of the enduring power of genuine human connection. The Andy Griffith Show, a popular TV series from the 1960s, featured Andy Griffith as the lead character. His full name was Andrew Samuel Griffith. One notable aspect of the show was the characters Mary and Peggy, who served as nurses for the county. They played recurring roles in the series, providing medical assistance and adding depth to the community of Mayberry. During a specific period when Jack Burns played the role of Deputy Warren Ferguson, it's interesting to note that the scripts originally intended for Don Knotts' Barney Fife were used. This shift in character dynamics added a unique twist to the show's episodes during that time. In summary, The Andy Griffith Show, with its lead character Andrew Samuel Griffith, incorporated memorable characters like Mary and Peggy as county nurses, and made a clever script adaptation during Jack Byrne's tenure as Deputy Warren Ferguson. During the earlier seasons of The Andy Griffith Show, the opening credits featured a voice announcer who verbally spoke the names of the cast members. However, in later seasons, this practice ceased, and instead, the cast member names were visually displayed on the screen. Opie Taylor, a central character in the show, was named after Opie Cates, a prominent band leader from the 1930s and 1940s. Both Andy Griffith and Sheldon Leonard, the show's producer, admired Opie Cates. The choice of the name for the character was a tribute to this musician. Interestingly, the show never mentioned what happened to Opie's mother. Opie was described as a speck of a boy when she passed away. Her first name was never revealed, her picture was never shown in Andy's house, or anywhere else in the show, and her grave was never depicted on screen. These details add a layer of mystery to the show, leaving viewers to wonder about the untold story of Opie's mother, a topic that has intrigued fans of The Andy Griffith Show for years. In the original run of The Andy Griffith Show in the 1960s, the opening credits underwent a slight expansion. After Opie threw a rock into the lake, the camera's view would change to a close-up of the water rippling. 
In this shot, the sponsor's product logo would appear in the middle. This addition was a common practice during that era, where sponsors would prominently display their products to the viewers. It served as a way to promote their goods and support the show financially. Unfortunately, I couldn't find substantial information about the map used behind Andy's desk being an upside-down state map of Idaho. However, I did find that the map behind Andy's desk is actually a map of Cincinnati, Ohio. This choice of decor was likely intended to add a touch of authenticity to the show, as it was set in the fictional town of Mayberry, North Carolina. Using a map of Cincinnati might have been a playful nod to the fact that Mayberry didn't exist in reality. When Howard McNear, who portrayed Floyd the Barber, left the show due to declining health, his departure was explained within the storyline. In the show, Floyd sold his barber shop and moved away to be with his daughter. This was a thoughtful way to address the absence of the character while respecting the actor's real-life situation. These details offer insights into the production and storytelling elements of the Andy Griffith show during its original run, providing a glimpse into how the show was both influenced by its time and adapted to real-life circumstances. In the Andy Griffith show, two black actors had speaking roles in episodes contrary to popular belief. One instance was in Opie's Piano Lesson, where Rockney Tarkington is often cited as the only black actor with a speaking role. However, in the episode Howard's New Life, another black actor also had a speaking part. Before Aunt B became a permanent member of Andy's household, he had a housekeeper named Rose. In the episode titled The New Housekeeper, Andy not only had Rose as his housekeeper but also officiated her wedding ceremony. Don Knotts, famous for his role as Barney Fife in the show, was born as Jesse Donald Knotts. In interviews, Andy Griffith often referred to him simply as Jesse. These lesser-known facts add depth to the history of the Andy Griffith show, shedding light on the diversity of its cast and the personal relationships among its iconic characters. The Andy Griffith Show, behind-the-scenes insights in the world of classic television. The Andy Griffith Show stands out as a beloved series that captured the hearts of viewers during the 1960s. While the show itself is known for its wholesome portrayal of small-town life in Mayberry, there are some intriguing behind-the-scenes tidbits that add depth to our understanding of the show and its cast. One noteworthy insight comes from Ron Howard, who portrayed Opie Taylor, the son of the show's titular character, Sheriff Andy Taylor, played by Andy Griffith. According to Ron Howard, the on-screen relationship between Andy and Opie was influenced by his own relationship with his father, Rance Howard. This personal connection brought an authentic and touching dynamic to their father-son interactions on the show, resonating with audiences and contributing to the show's enduring appeal. Another interesting facet of the Andy Griffith show involves the characters known as the Darling Sons. Doug Dillard, Rodney Dillard, Dean Webb, and Mitch Jane portrayed these four musically inclined brothers. What many fans might not know is that these actors were also members of the bluegrass group The Dillards. Even more fascinating, Andy Griffith himself joined forces with The Dillards for musical performances on the show. This musical collaboration added an extra layer of entertainment to the series and showcased the versatile talents of the cast. In the realm of real-life connections, a surprising family tie exists between two cast members. Don Knotts, who played the lovable deputy Barney Fife, and Ron Howard, who portrayed Opie, were sixth cousins through a shared ancestor, Lucinda Knotts. This distant familial bond adds an intriguing dimension to their on-screen chemistry, which was a cornerstone of the show's humor and charm. In conclusion, The Andy Griffith Show not only entertained millions with its small-town charm, but also harbored fascinating behind-the-scenes connections and influences that enriched the show's authenticity and appeal. From Ron Howard's personal connection to his character to musical collaborations with the Dillards and unexpected family ties between cast members, these insights offer a deeper appreciation of this iconic television series. Francis Bobby is clash over coarse language on the Andy Griffith show Francis Bobby A, known for her role as Aunt B on the iconic 1960 TV series The Andy Griffith Show, was a beloved character on the show. However, off-camera, she had her share of disagreements with some of her co-stars, 
primarily concerning their use of coarse language. One particular incident has become a memorable part of the show's behind-the-scenes history. During the production of the show, George Lindsay, who played Goober Pyle, and some other cast members would occasionally use language that didn't sit well with Frances Bavier. She was not one to tolerate such behavior, and one day, tensions reached a boiling point. It is said that Bavier, in a fit of frustration, took an umbrella and used it to express her disapproval, striking George Lindsay with it. This incident is a testament to Bavier's commitment to maintaining a certain level of decorum on set. While the details of the incident are not extensively documented, it highlights the clash of personalities and expectations among the cast members behind the scenes of The Andy Griffith Show. Francis Bavi's dedication to maintaining a professional and respectful environment was just one aspect of the behind-the-scenes dynamics that contributed to the show's success. Despite occasional disagreements, the cast and crew of The Andy Griffith Show managed to create a beloved and enduring series that continues to be cherished by audiences to this day. So, while Aunt B may have been known for her warm and nurturing character on the show, Frances Bavia herself was not one to tolerate coarse language from her co-stars, as her umbrella-wielding incident with George Lindsay attests. This little-known behind-the-scenes anecdote sheds light on the human dynamics that shaped one of television's most beloved classics. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the beloved 1960 TV series, The Andy Griffith Show, it's only fitting to pause for a moment of reflection. This timeless show has woven itself into the fabric of our cultural history, leaving an indelible mark on generations past and present. Perhaps you find yourself reminiscing about the idyllic town of Maybury, with its quaint charm and endearing characters. Maybe it's the heartwarming lessons imparted by Sheriff Andy Taylor, or the mischievous antics of Barney Fife that have left an indelible impression on your heart. Whatever your personal connection may be, we invite you to share your cherished memories, favorite moments, or heartfelt thoughts about this iconic series. Whether it's the whistling theme song that still brings a smile to your face, or the simple wisdom of Andy Griffith's character that continues to inspire you, we'd love to hear from you. The Andy Griffith Show isn't just a television series, it's a vessel of nostalgia, a reminder of simpler times, and a testament to the enduring power of storytelling. Your stories and reflections are a vital part of preserving the legacy of Mayberry for future generations to enjoy. Thank you for taking this trip down memory lane with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your connection to this show makes it all the more special. Until we meet again, keep Mayberry alive in your heart and share the joy it has brought you with others. Your tales are the threads that keep the Mayberry quilt stitched together. With warm regards.